Hey everyone, no more wasting time setting up image to video AI models. I found a tool that we're going to run through today that connects you up to a hundred models with one API call and one API key, saving all the setup time and allowing you to test all the different models you want through one interface. It is honestly incredible and saved me so much time. Let's get started and I'll show you how to integrate it into NAM. So you're just starting on your journey to creating faceless videos and you start doing some research and there are a lot of image to video models that transform your images, static images, to dynamic moving images or rather video formats. So for example, you've got Kling AI, which is really highly rated. You've got runwayml.com, which supposedly produces really amazing videos. You've got Stable Diffusion, which has an open source model that actually produces image to videos. You've got Leonardo, you've got CogX, you've got so many different image to video models that you want to try out, but there must be an easier way, right, than signing up to every single platform. And I'm happy to say that we're gonna run through that easier way now and it's called segmind.com. So what we have here on the landing page is effectively a little description about what it does. It's for developers, but as no code developers, we can access it as well. And you can access all of these different image models that it offers, and you can access those via API. So where do you start when you're at this point? You have seen what Segmind can do, and we know we can connect to multiple models, but which models do we actually want to use? Once we sign up for account and we go into the dashboard, we're greeted with a bunch of different statistics. So I've added some credit to my account. We've got some workflow templates and those workflow templates connect to specific models. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the model hub on the left-hand side. And you can see that we're then inundated with a very long scrolling window of all of the different models that we're able to connect to. So we can actually connect to up to, I believe it's 97 at the moment, 97 individual image generations or video generations or text to video models. So this is like the most powerful connector to all these different models that I've found so far. And it connects to all the latest models. So it's all the stuff that we're really interested in doing. For this tutorial, we're looking at solely image to video. So we're gonna come back up to the top and we're gonna type in image to video and hopefully that gives us a few options. So we can see that that's actually narrowed it down to four different options. And what we've got here is four really good options, actually ones we mentioned earlier. We've got Kling AI 1.6, which is their newest model here. We've got Runway ML here, and we've got some demonstration videos. And underneath, you can't see the names, but we've got Kling AI, an older model and a COG Video X image to video. So any of these models, we'd be really interested in trying out. And actually it's super easy to try these out. But we're also wondering at this point, like how much does this cost? Because image to video is not particularly cheap or hasn't been cheap in the past. So how much does it cost to access these different models? So we'll go into the Kling AI model here and open that up. And inside each model, you have a dashboard specifically designed for that model. So there's a couple of things we can do here. We can actually try out the model. So before we try them via API, we can actually just go in here, we can upload our own image and we can insert a prompt here to get image to video. It then gives us an overview, which is really useful of all the different features of Segmind and how you can use it. And then an overview of Kling itself and kind of the specialties of that specific model. So at this point, we're wondering how much is it gonna cost us? And actually what we can do here is just go into the pricing section here and actually each individual model, because it runs on its own software, has its own specific pricing. So for example here, uh, Kling AI, which is one of the more expensive models, it actually five seconds of video is gonna cost you 50 cents to produce. So the pricing is visible and you can see that per model. How do you actually connect to these and how do we get that 
back into a workflow in NAN, where we can try out all of these models on our image. So we're gonna go into API here, and actually we're gonna go and get our API key. And what I've done here is just for demonstration purposes, opened up an API key. So if you click new API key, you confirm, you will open and get a new API key. Do you have a dollar of free credits to try out? So if you try it on the cheaper platforms, like Stable Diffusion, then it actually might go uh, a long way to trying out different things. It's probably not gonna last so much on things like Runway, ML, etc. So we're gonna copy that API key and we're gonna go back into our NAN environment. So for anyone that hasn't connected to an API using NAN before, it's actually really straightforward. And I'm gonna show you how to do that next. But before I do that, if you're enjoying the content and finding it valuable, then I'd love if you could go below and subscribe and like the video. It really goes a long way in helping my content reach other creators and other builders in this. So we're gonna go into here and we're gonna set up a test workflow. And what we're gonna do is put in a manual trigger and then to pass any image into SegMind via an API call, all we're gonna do is set an image URL with a set node. We're gonna have an image link and we're gonna to link to an image and we'll pick an example image now. I've just gone to Unsplash and effectively looked for the free under the license so I can use it however I want. And I've typed in walking just so we demonstration of one of these images that turns to video. We're gonna open that. What we're gonna to need to do is right click it and open image in new tab. I'm gonna to go to that image and actually now we have the URL that we can copy paste, which is actually the, the URL of which it, the image is hosted on. So we're gonna go back to our NAN flow and we're gonna put that image inside of our field here. Next, we've just got a HTTP request. So I'm just gonna move that there. So if you need this, we just need to click on the side and we'll type in HTTP request. And this just allows us to connect to any different model. And you can see the example that we're gonna use here is the runway ML model. And we'll actually see the outputs and see what it produces. So we're gonna open up the HTTP request here and we can see that on the left-hand side, we're passing through the image link. What we're going to do is a post request. So we are sending data of the link. So it will always be a post request. The URL is going to be api.segmind.com slash v1. And then what we're going to do is put model name as the final part. So what we're going to do is go back into Segmind. We are in the model we want. So we're in runway and we've just come from the playground. Then we're going to the API section. Down here, this may look complicated, but we only need actually a few things from it because NAN does most of the work for us. So what we're gonna look for is the URL that we need to call, and this is just the API endpoint. So we've got api.segmind.com v1 slash runway gen3 alpha turbo. So we're gonna copy and paste that, go back to our HTTP request and copy and paste that in. And you can see that we've done that already. Now we're going to send uh, headers and the one header that we need to send is our API key. So we're going to go back to the dashboard and we're going to grab one of these API keys. So we're going to copy that. We go back to NAN and we're going to put it in under the name X API key. So we're going to copy and paste that in here. Now what I'm doing here is just testing and I'm using a test API key that I'm going to revoke afterwards. But if you want to see why you should not include these in the header parameters and actually instead put them as a predefined credential type, then please check out the video linked because you could be exposing your API keys to other people if you use this method. But we're just doing it for testing, so we'll allow it for now, just for ease of use, and so you can see the different parameters going in. So in the body, what we're gonna to need to do is fill out the parameters or the parameters that the model is expecting. We go back to the playground for the runway gen alpha turbo model, which is the model we're using. And we scroll down to playground again. And what we have is an example here. They've put an astronaut with a mirrored helmet running through a field of sunflowers. And you can see that they've produced this from an image. And actually it's pretty high quality, but we want to see how it is with an image that we've input ourselves. So we're going to change this prompt. So we know that a prompt is always going to be 
included. But if we click down here and we go to advanced parameters, then this will show us the other parameters that go into the body of the request. So here we've got little information bubbles. So seed for random generation. So actually we can put in any number here. It doesn't matter. It's just going to generate a unique image. And actually, if we go back to the same seed, it will probably generate the same image to video with all the same parameters. Otherwise, aspect ratio, we're just going to go 16 to 9. because so we want a wide angle video. And the photo that we're inputting is actually a, a wide photo. So that's probably going to make it easier. And then we're going to put in the duration as five seconds as well. So to do that, we'll go back to the HTTP request. And what we're going to do is just fill out those names and values in the, in the parameters that we're sending in the body. And we're actually just going to fill out the prompt text directly in the value here and not pull it from a previous value. The prompt image that we're sending in is just going to be the link from before. So we can drag and drop that over here. We've then put in a random seed and we can randomize this number, but we're sticking it for now. We've got the 16 to 9 ratio and five seconds duration. Then what we're going to do is just test step. And actually now this is all the steps you need to connect to one model on this platform. And the benefit here is you don't need to connect to all of these different models individually, set up individual accounts, pay individually. It's all centralized through Segmind in one place, which is really, really helpful. If you're finding this content valuable, then please check out the community below because you'll really enjoy some of the templates in there. Also give a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel's reach and I really appreciate that. So we're going to run a test now and then we're going to see what the output looks like. So I'm just coming back and we've run the test. So our input prompt, just to remind you, walking through the sunflowers alongside the river and the photo that we were using was this photo here. So what that's going to try and do is we're going to use the runway model and it's going to have adapted that to turn this into a dynamic video based on this image. So we'll see how well it did. But I guess the import, it's important to stress at this point, it doesn't matter how well that individual model does because actually it's super simple to go to Segmind, look at the parameters of another model and actually fill out this HTTP request. And a little bonus here, I'm going to be launching a video where I compare the top five models so make sure to check that out as well we're going to go into the http request and we're actually now going to view the video that is produced it's actually really well understood the brief of walking it's not quite got the walking through a field of sunflowers but if we play it again it's actually taken a really good shot even caught the lady's head if i pause there the lady's head was like this in the initial photo and actually it's caught the angle of that and decided to do something with it and turn her head as she as she walks we're actually really impressed by this output so you've got a video from your image how do we turn this into a faceless video well it's not something that i'm going to cover in this tutorial itself but do check out the video i've already produced on exactly this topic it goes from start to finish in how to produce faceless videos using NAN and other fairly cheap models that produce static images and match that to a script. And at the end of that tutorial, you'll have a complete faceless video. Check it out, it's really, really cool. And the template's available in the community link below. So that wraps up this one. It's super cool that there's a tool like Segmind out there that connects all those different image to video models. It also has some really powerful features that we didn't explore in here, like image generation, in particular for certain industries like e-commerce and others. So definitely recommend checking out Segmind. And it makes doing any sort of image or video generation a hell of a lot easier because it's all in one place with one API key, one cost structure, super simple. Looking forward to using more of it. Thanks for watching.